Hi everyone, it's October 2017 and I'm so excited to be participating in Inktober. I thought I'd give you a little peek into my art studio and my setup this year for this fun challenge. My name is Jennifer Stay. I'm the artist behind Coloring Pages Bliss and welcome to my YouTube channel. First thing I want to show you is my sketchbook. This is the Render Crescent sketchbook and I'm excited because it's supposed to not bleed through. And because I'm going to be using a lot of liquid inks and dip pens, this is going to be very important this year. Make sure you subscribe and set your notifications so you don't miss out on the videos I will be posting for Inktober this year. Now right here you see some beautiful inks that I recently purchased and I've been waiting to open this package so that I can show them to you and we can experience them together. First off, what I was excited to find was this dropper so that I can get into these teeny tiny bottles of ink. Also, it came with a pen cleaner so I can keep my little nibs clean of ink. Came with a white and three bottles of black and a whole bunch of colors. And what I noticed right away is that the pigment inside these inks settled to the bottom of the bottles. And so it took a lot of shaking to get the pigment mixed into the dye, into the inks. Oh, they look so beautiful in this stand. I love how the stand works. Now it was a little trouble getting the tops off of each of those bottles. It was kind of a mess. And then the bubbles from shaking were a bit of a problem as well. But once I got past that and was able to start swatching, I had so much fun. The only thing I could say is this left me wanting even more colors, so I think I might be buying set two very soon. I also checked to make sure that the ink was permanent when dry, so I hit it with a little water and it sure was. Now here you can see I'm testing the Speedball Super Black India ink that I also have, and I'm going to test it right next to the Dr. PH Martin Bombay Black ink that I got. And I really like the way the Dr. PH Martin Bombay Black looked after it dried. I'm really happy with that. Okay, here on this tray you can see I've got paper towels, bowls for water, towels to mop up any drips or spills. I think I'm prepared. I also have protected my table with a green cutting mat and a cheap white plastic placemat that I found at a store. Now I'm also gonna be using a lot of other kinds of ink media. So inside this um, case, I have some pencils. I have lots of different pens. I'm just gonna pan across this here so you can take a peek at all my fun tools. can't wait to play with all of these. And this little kit here is gonna be great for on the go sketching, which I'll be doing some of that as well. Now these watercolor paints over here, I believe are Winsor Newton Cotman paints that I've got set up and ready to go if I wanna use some color. And just a variety of watercolor brushes. This um, little stand here is the Totally Tiffany stand that I did a review on a few months ago here on my channel if you wanna check that out. I believe it's called the Pen and Ink Palace. And up here is just a few more things that I have ready in case I need it. Of course, one of the most important parts of this month are the dip pens. And so I have a variety of those already purchased and I'm excited to show those to you. Mm -hmm. 
And yep, we're here in my bathroom to open this up and you're gonna see why here in just a second. And these are covered in Japanese writing and they are this particular set of pens and nibs are meant for manga artists, so I'm really excited to play with those. I'm using an old toothbrush here and I am using the vibration mode on the toothbrush to help me do the cleaning. It was lots of fun. Halfway through this process, it struck me as very ironic that my fingernail polish matched the toothpaste. <laughs> I really enjoyed spending time with each nib and looking at all the pretty little details and wondering how each one of these were going to perform on paper. To me, they look like jewelry sitting in a beautiful little case. Okay, last but not least, I have some extra paper sitting here so I can do some other experimenting with ink washes and other techniques I've seen on YouTube. And of course some handy wet wipes because I'm sure this is going to get very messy. Overall, I am super excited to learn and grow my inking skills. So make sure you subscribe, join me on this journey, and I hope you enjoy the art I produce. Check me out at my website. Please comment below, let me know what you think of this, and hit the like button because it really supports my channel. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to this month.